All right, we got to move on. We got something here to do tonight that uh, I think some of you are familiar with. This is a talk show uh, staple. This is done all the time on, on talk shows. Jay Leno does this all the time on his show. Hey there, folks, how you doing? This is a... Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> We call it actual items. Here's how it works. We just have an amazing research team. They go out and they look at uh, newspapers and magazines and periodicals, and they cut out ads. These are all real that, to have something in them that's just kind of funny, like this typo or a weird way of phrasing is kind of weird and awkward. You've seen this before. And the fun part is it's just what's going on in America. You can't make it up. For example, take a look at this one right here. It's an ad from the Baton Rouge Beacon in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's an ad for beer. That's right. There's some beer right there. And, uh, yeah, that's great. Let's, let's applaud beer. Uh, but look what it says here next to these two 18-packs. Enough beer for your 40-minute drive home from work. Here's an ad here. It's from the Centerville Chronicle in Centerville, Ohio. It's an ad for 70s-style clothes that teenage girls might wear and there's an outfit right there but this bothered me look what it says next to it, it says make your daughter irresistible to the almond brothers road crew <laughs> folks get together on these all right <laughs> i don't know what that was oh that was, yeah Next up's an ad from the Nashua Herald in Nashua, New Hampshire. It's an ad for a little bicycle trailer. These are cute that children can ride in. You've probably seen these. It attaches to the bicycle, and you can ride with your kids. A lot of fun. But look what it says here. I didn't like this. It says, so much fun, he'll forget he's being kidnapped. <laughs> and... Next, we have an ad from the Rochester Dispatch in Rochester, New York. It's an ad for cute little T-shirts for kids. And a lot of these are really adorable. Look here, though. This bothers me. There's Foxy right below that is Cutie Pie. But I didn't like this one. Check out Lil Hitler. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want Lil Hitler. Yeah, right. Boo is right. It's a bad shirt. I was just showing it to you so we could get the word out on the whole thing. Next up's an ad from the Portland Post in Portland, Maine. It's an ad uh, for, it's a little lighthouse figurine set. Look at that, isn't that cute? Look down here, though, this is weird. These people here seem to be running. That was weird. But look up here, this really bothered me. I didn't <laughs> know what was going on. And... Oh, okay. That one you're behind. Yay! <laughs> You've got a rifle, you might as well use it. This next one's from the Spring Green Post in Spring Green, Wisconsin. It's an ad for a recliner. That's right. Beautiful, thick, plush recliner right there for almost less than four, $500. But look what it says right here. It says, absorbs up to 64 ounces of puppy urine. to represent supremacist groups. Naturally, he wouldn't divulge his client. Gage could be in. But only holding one hand of the octopus. You're right. What? what? Walker didn't know what he was saying. I maintain Walker had no idea what he said. You're right. Finally, here's one from the Bloomfield Post in Bloomfield, New Jersey. It's an ad for tampons. And it looked like a pretty normal ad for tampons right here. Everything looked normal. But look at the tip of this tampon. This, I thought, was really strange. <laughs> right now. Right now. All right, folks. Fine program tonight. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, Natalie Portman's here. So <laughs>